be your open might be rolling. <laughs> Bring them over here for me, Art. Okay, yes sir, I will. Actually on the air. Oh, big! Oh my gosh, Baker, you want to come on? A, oh, I'm on South Saginaw Street. Yeah, do that. Why don't you go to uh, 13th Street? We're planning. people there. We're going to travel by motorcycle from where I'm at now, which is further south, to uh, there. So that would be quicker for you, sir. Saginaw. Like Charleston, Saginaw. You know, right there. 13th is one block uh, south. <laughs> okay, you're going to be a part of it. <laughs> I just picked up a gas ball. Where's <laughs> Samuel? Is that you? Oh, okay. All right. Yes, sir. Are you my guest? Yes. Okay. What is your name, sweetie? Melanie. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. That is so nice. Melody? I can't believe you're not on. Well, that's Vicky Kelsey. Yeah. I'm three minutes in. Yeah, 11.32. Me too. Me too. Well, you're on TV. <laughs> I do, sir. I do indeed. Thank you for joining us, everybody. First Samuel, thank you. This is going to be a wild uh, day today. As I was explaining to First Samuel earlier, we were on South Saginaw Street with the Mott uh, Community College girls sophomore team. Seven of them, I think. Eight, six. Somewhere in there. Never was good with numbers. <laughs> but they're all pretty. I know that. Okay. And we're going to talk to them very quickly. Hi, audience. Stay with us. This is going to be a wild day. Not because the girls are here. Not saying they're wild. Although they might be. <laughs> They're just kind of crazy, and that's a great thing with young ladies. Uh, but we are going to travel by motorcycle. You've heard of Paul Herring, everybody, and the booze go up in the air by the yay, thousands. But yay. anyway, Paul's got a motorcycle. It's called a, what is it called, Paul? Automoto. An, an automoto, and it looks like a helicopter with no uh, rotor on the top, if you can kind of picture that in mind's eye. And I'm going to jump on that thing. Paul's driving. I'm going to get in the back, and we're actually going to film our trip from South Saginaw to uh, 12th Street, 13th Street specifically, where I've got another group of folks that are planting uh, flowers. So if you want a, a, a carnival here this morning, come up down <laughs> Saginaw Street. Honk when you see Paul's uh, golden helicopter go by. Okay. Melody, get over here, girl. It's good to talk to you. How you doing, Hi. little buddy? Good, I've never good. met this young lady in my life, but she's painting for us. God bless her. <laughs> Melody, where are you from? And tell us your curriculum, and why are you here today? What's going on? <laughs> Well, I'm from so Lake Fenton High boy. School. Uh, I went, I'm staying in Linden right now, but I'm at Mott right now playing softball. Um, I'm a freshman right now. I have a pretty heavy class load this fall just okay. to get it ready for the spring. What, are, what courses are you taking? I mean, not necessarily the courses, but what curriculum? Oh, I'm just getting my general studies right now. Two. I'm in the Honors College. Oh, my mom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paul, she's in the Honors College. I mean, she's smarter than you, Art. She's smarter than you. <laughs> neener, neener, neener. <laughs> well, that's great, girl. Now, what do you intend to do after college? Have you got a vacation at night? I'm not here. Right now, I'm working on transferring to a hospital. Yes, sir. Melody. Yeah. I'm so impressed. Thank you. Whatever. Do you have family members that are part of the military? No, uh, the earliest relative I have is my great grandpa, but he fought. Uh, what did he fight? <laughs> he fought the Japanese. In oh, okay. World War II. All right, that's been a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's giggles over here? That's Valerie. Valerie the Laugher. Okay. She's a very she's, got a, she's got a white nose. 
Mallory, get over here with your white nose. Okay. Our painting of mural, everybody. It's a mural. Melody, thank you. You are such a sweet. God bless you, child. Oh, you with your white nose and your black stripe on. You look like a, a zebra, <laughs> for heaven's sakes. Okay. Hi, girl. Hi. Tell us uh, where you're from and what's your curriculum and that sort of thing. Okay. What, what are you What are you painting? Describe the, the mural to us. Too. Oh, okay. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm Mallory Marquardt. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm... <laughs> I just laugh a lot, I'm sorry. Oh, so I'm from Davidson, Michigan. I went to Mott to hopefully get my general studies degree and then going to human resources management. Very good. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, okay, the mural. Um, very patriotic. I don't really have anything very else good. to say about it, but it's really nice. You're doing a good job. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you guys are real good at this. Thank, thank you. you. Mott College did this for, thank you, you're just oh, a thanks. sweetie. Just keep giggling, girl. Um, Mott College did this for us last year, too. Coach Scott, of course, he had um, the girls last year paid them. Oh, oh, my God. Drawn on by a They just gave me a new position here. What position are you, girl? What do you play? Uh, I play shortstop. Okay. <laughs> you, you're very short, too, I might yeah. add. Tell folks who you are, where you're from, your curriculum, and your intentions after college. Okay. Um, I intend to go into criminal justice, and um, I am Mackenzie Dunkley. I'm from Clio. And uh, why did you choose criminal justice? Uh, my father was a police officer. And oh, that's great. Okay. Yep, he's led me that way. Okay, that's good. Do you intend to be a uniformed officer or some other role within that capacity? Um, I want to intend to go to FBI. Okay. Oh, wow. That's very good. In fact, we have, we have one of our young ladies at our school, the National Academy of Flint, was interested in the FBI, and I set her up with a, an appointment. We actually went into the FBI office and talked with the FBI officers. Art was in the FBI. You were? Art was. It was a holding cell. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Paul just said I was in the FBI, with the FBI in a holding cell. So that, that's the kind of abuse that I get out here on South Texas. Good luck to you, young lady. Thank you. And thank you for the courtesy that you're offering us by painting this mural. That's great. Of course. Do I have anybody else that would like to talk? As always, <laughs> we might pick up someone. <laughs> but anyway, folks, International Academy of Flint, 2820 South Saginaw. We have open enrollment all the time. I know we had a student count day and all that. That's important to all schools, naturally. But we're still interested in enrolling kids. Should that be a, if you're dissatisfied where you are, we'd love to talk with you. Please call the school. And that number, as you might know, is 605,000. We'd love to chat with you. In fact, I've got two tours this coming week you know, with a family families actually and we'd love to chat with you as well if you have that interest. We've got a new Hey, how are you doing, Blondie? Okay, good to see you. Very good. Tell us please your name, where you're from, and maybe some career intentions. Would All right. that be okay? Um my name's Taylor. Oh, hold it. Oh, hold it. Sorry. There you go. Um, my name's Taylor Shiach and I'm from Fort Creek, Michigan and I'm attending Mott to hopefully go into nursing someday. Oh. That's just what I'm interested in. Because I really want to be able to help people. Now, were you in the nursing program at the skill center? No, I was not. I didn't decide until I came to okay. okay. Why nursing? Can you tell me? It's a wonderful occupation. <laughs> well, tell us why. I always just wanted to be able to help out people, okay. and I felt like that's just the best way that I could. Right, well, let me challenge you now. Suppose you went beyond being a nurse and you tried to be a pharmacist or a doctor, or would that interest you as well? If you really like it, you think you might right. want to do that? Uh -huh. Pharmaceuticals has always been something I've always liked it too, too. So. Well, very good. That's excellent. Yeah, don't, again, nursing is a wonderful occupation, but if you are really interested in that, don't limit yourself. Yeah, I don't want to limit myself. Yeah, yeah, right. And thank you for doing it as a mural for us. Of course. I absolutely love being able to help out. Thank well, you. How, tell us about your season. How many, what was your record this year? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Well, if you don't know, make it up. Just go ahead and make it up. <laughs> they were undefeated. I don't know. You got the coach yeah, that, behind you. Yes, we were undefeated. I don't know. Um, I think we were like what eight and three? No. What? This, Our season? This fall? Yeah, this fall. Ten and nine. Right. Ten, and nine. Ten, and nine. Ten and nine. Ten and nine. That many games in the fall? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we go to tournaments on the weekend. Oh, that's Play, wonderful. play, play. And you travel quite a bit. Yeah. Give me some locations you um, went, dear. 
Well, for spring training, we go to Florida, but like for this year, we just kind of we went to Grand Rapids and we go to Ohio, but mainly just in Michigan around. Okay. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. That's so yes. good. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck this year. Thank you. Coach, I've got to come see you play. Would you make me do that? Sure. In the spring. I really want to. I truly, truly do. Okay. I, I told you that last year and I never made it. I get so busy. I just forget. Oh, gosh. Please let me know. I'd love to do that. Is 10 and 9 good? A 10 and 9 depends who the competition is. And it's I, a small ball. It doesn't really count. Oh. Just, just a chance. For okay. Them to get to know each Coach is saying something, but he won't say on the air. But it, <laughs> he doesn't want to be on the radio. But that's... They, they do some experimenting with in the fall also with kids playing in different positions. It's just kind of, that way he can read his team a little bit better for the spring. So I think that might be the intention, I believe. So 10-9, they didn't have a losing season. They had a, a good season with a lot of experiments, probably at positions and such. Okay, that would be my guess. Okay. Paul, how are we? Should we be jumping on your buggy soon? Uh, we can. We're, uh, we've got uh, 20 minutes left in the We're, show. Okay, 20. Minutes. We'll stay here a little bit longer. Okay. That's great. All right, everybody. Is there anybody left over there? Anybody else? Do I have any more takers? There's only two girls left. I have We're saving the cutest for last. <laughs> All right, they're hollering and screaming. Getting silly. That's good. Oh, here we got. There you go. Oh, she's painting red. So watch out for this one. Uh -oh. Hi, dear. Come on over. Hi. I don't know who you are, dear. Please My tell us. My name is Kimberly. Rowe. And, and you're from? And I'm from Central Michigan. And your curriculum and your intentions after school. Uh, studying music. I want to pursue music education. Okay. Now. Would that mean you intend to be a, a music teacher in a, in a school or something beyond? Uh, I'll probably end up as a like a high school teacher for a few years at least, and then maybe something bigger. Now, in the music, does that mean instrumentally, vocally, or both? Uh, definitely instrumentally, okay. <laughs> <I> <laughs> but may, maybe a little both. Down the and the instruments are? Uh, right now, I play trombone I was gonna play and piano and. A little bit of ukulele. Okay. Okay. I play the radio. I do it very frequently. <laughs> that's that's the limit of my extent of my capacity for music. That's great. And then, do uh, you think you stay around in Michigan, dear? Yeah. I, after my, I want to go to MSU and continue music. So. That's great. Um, wow, I'm so pleased that you are. That's such a great opportunity for you. And also, that's one thing that we're trying to start this year in our school is to become more physically inclined. And it's, it's a good balance. We try to be strong academically, but you need a balance for some kids. So we definitely have the skills that you can use a definite academic application. I know that to be true. There's been a lot of research about that. So hopefully we can start that. Good luck to you, young lady. Thank, Thank you. you, of course, for painting everything red today. No problem. You're, you're a strike girl, huh? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's good. 15, 17 minutes left. Okay, Paul, well, maybe we shouldn't think about driving because we're going to lose five minutes in the, in the, in the air. Easy, easy. Very
I do. Let's hear it. Yeah, that's a horn, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a stop sign. We're at a stop right here. Ooh, my hands are frozen. He's got brakes. His brakes are his shoes. He doesn't even have brakes. He just gets out of his shoes. That's all we got. Yeah, the W! We got about three more minutes of motorcycle ride. Over there on my left, he's painted there. Greatest introduction that I have ever seen. <laughs> You've got Art Winslam um, and the great Paul Henry riding up on a mobile. And that is once again just a great thing. Listen, I am ecstatic to be here once again. Your friend Jamar Baker. Uh, excited to be here to talk to you today about a great event coming to our community called Candy Mountain. Yes, Candy Mountain is coming back. It was it was grand last year, and it will be back this year again on October 31st. Yes, that is the day that is Halloween. So we are going to host at Word of Life Christian Church. That is at 460 West Appleton Road. We're going to have Candy Mountain, a 2.5 ton mountain of candy. But listen, this year is all about Candy Land. So the mountain is a feature of Candy Land at Word of Life Christian Church. So you'll be able to come to our church to be able to go through Candy Land. It's so many different events for kids, so many great things for adults to bring their kids to and partake of. It is a warm, safe haven for kids to be able to have a great time on Halloween. So listen, we hope to see you there, 531 to 831. Be prepared, and I'll come back and talk more later about yeah, you, the calls. Yeah, you're coming back calls. next week. That's right. Somebody is. I'll yeah. talk at greater extent okay. then. So, folks, okay. thank you. Well, Jamal, before you go, last I, we were there last year, of course. That's right. It was a mountain. It was a mountain. It was a mountain. So, how big is this mountain? <laughs> so, this mountain this year is actually 500 pounds bigger than last year. It is a total of 2.5 tons. That is 2,500 pounds of candy. That's that's hard to comprehend. You know that? Wow. Paul Herring, that's bigger than you. <laughs> Let me at it. Let me at it. Oh, what a great time. Thanks you have to see the mountain and believe it. So. I believe it. I, well, you, it was on the stage. It will be on the stage again? It will be. It will be. And, I, and, you know, I think the event is just like what you're seeing here, what I was going to talk about with the garden. It's planting the seed. You know, for education, just like you're seeing here with the yeah. beautification. So, okay. thanks for having Thank me you. on today. Oh, yes, please do return next week. Thankfully, I think we'll be in the studio. Yeah, we will. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah we will. Okay. Thank thanks. you, my friend. God right. bless you. Oh, you. what a pleasure. Very <laughs> good, sir. Very good. Thank thanks, you, indeed. Anytime, Jay. We'll see you later. Doing yeah. some here. Judy, would you like to say hi? hi. <laughs> on the air? Hi. Hi again on the air. Okay, Everybody. Judas is slightly bashful. But she's kind of coordinating this now. She's telling, uh, we've got kids here, and my son as well, digging holes. And uh, the plants are all placed out in advance of where we want them to be. They're digging holes, and uh, you, you're going to loosen that up, Marquise, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we're planting them with the instruction of Judith. And uh, we're at the corner of 13th Street 
and uh, Saginaw. Now you might recall, if you're familiar, this uh, at one point was belonged to CBC Recycling, and the building was here on the corner, as raggedy as could be, it was falling apart, literally, it was a safety hazard, Land Bank owned it, and they finally um, got permission to, to drop it, which they did, and now they made a very nice uh, flat area here put into grass in the spring. We still have, unfortunately, a pile, uh, a mountain back there, too. It's not candy. I wish it was, but it's nothing but trash. That has to be hauled out of here yet. I'm not sure when that will occur. We've got to talk with our city powers to, to make sure that occurs, because that's a distraction to anything that we try to do in the front of it. Well, we're planting flowers. There's uh, some there's a tiers approach here. We've got two levels that we're planting on, and um, we've got uh, daylilies and uh, uh, a lily plant, and we got some roses that will survive the winter, and uh, a few other things, a lilac, oh, just a bunch of stuff. I don't remember all this. I'm calling them green, red, and yellow. That's close enough for me. Okay. A lot of day lilies, that's for sure. And Judith Ledford is just a blessing to us in our neighborhood. She helps at the school as well, giving some advice about what to plant where. And she uh, just lives about a block from the school, so she's really a neighbor that has taken uh, a real interest in our school, our kids, because she just does good, good things with kids, and it's, uh, it's a blessing to have her here. Five so, minutes. Paul, listen, we're, we want to sit down with you at some point. Come on on this side of the camera if do you're I there. To, do I have to? Uh, 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 he says, do I have to? But he went to uh, Washington, D.C., and we're going to have a sit down and talk about that sure. on the air a little bit more than now. But would you want to give a little bit of a summary about what that was? Would Not that at all. I don't okay. want to say anything about it because it'll take away from when we sit down and get everybody all excited. From the impact that will be in, at some future broadcast. Right, right. Okay. Okay. But I can tell you this. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, uh, there are a lot of people. Oh, I know. There are a lot of happy people, despite the reason we were there. People were very friendly, very happy to meet each other. There were a lot of hugs, a lot of high fives. It was really, really nice. Yeah, we had Marcus and Paul Jr. on. Right. We were very pleased to do that. Um, uh, now that it's over and you're reflecting back, how many Flint people did you recognize them? Would you say? Well, you know, I ran into Omar's brother. We knew Omar was there, and I also ran uh, into. Uh, Omar that came from our school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh huh. And then I ran into Brother D. It has the uh, show on uh, public access. We're in this together. And, uh, but, but no, didn't we take a bus? Didn't the bus go? Yeah, yeah, but we never found them. <laughs> <laughs> they might have went somewhere else, Paul. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> we, we were working our way into the press area. Okay. You know, uh, so we kind of missed everybody. Well, how close were you then to the speakers area? Oh goodness, we were what, three, four hundred feet away from Farrakhan? That's not bad. Oh no, yeah, we're right down the Capitol Street. Because now from from the from there to the end of the mall, what's the distance? Oh gosh, I have no clue, but uh, like three th two thirds of the uh, three quarters of the mall was under construction. So there was only a small section at between the Capitol and where the construction started. Okay. So there wasn't really room for as many people. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how they did it. Because yeah. there are a lot of people, so they must have uh, you know, pushed them out to the sides and into the streets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was also a Taste of Washington going on. And another event, all at the same time, in the same place. It was just amazing. Wow. But it was a great event. That's it was. I'm so glad you were there. Something, again, you'll never forget. You were at the first one. I certainly was. Okay. Yes, I was. Uh, Me and myself, uh, Brother Milton Mays. Uh, Jesse Peck is now running around the country with the spinners. Yes. Uh, we went uh, back uh, for the first one. It was wonderful. Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I, blame, I blame it for half the stuff I do now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good blame. Did your wife get to go with you? Of course not. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? You're a What's wrong with well, you? Well, that's right. Okay. Well, she could have rode along. She could have okay. gone with this one. I'm kind of upset that I didn't tell her. Okay. But, you know, they, they, everybody was there. It wasn't a million man march. It was a quasi reunion million man march on the side kind of thing. Right. But don't tell my wife no, I, there were women there. They, <laughs> 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 okay, we'll slide over that. But that's, that's great. I'm glad you had a good time. And the boys. Oh, the oh, boys. Fabulous yeah. time. Yeah. You know, we don't do anything uh, small. You know, we left DC. And went to Philadelphia, got a Philly cheesesteak in downtown Philly. <laughs> okay. Then we went to Atlantic City. Hello, and we, sir. And we left some money with them. 
Yeah. Like you're supposed to. <laughs> uh, then we went to New York, got a slice of pizza. Pizza. Okay. And then we headed on home. Okay. Yeah. Very good. We're back in town Sunday? Oh, no, no, no. We didn't get back till Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, back my. Tuesday. Okay. Uh, no college? They missed some college. Right? No, actually they were able to uh, adjust their schedules. They had a couple tests. Okay. They were able, uh, one was able to take it before they left and the other was able to take it. Actually, Marcus did an assignment at Starbucks in uh, New York. You know, they had to find Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, sure. And they sat in a Starbucks and he did a, uh, did a test and got 100% on it. Okay. Wow. Yay. That's great. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Starbucks. That's great. Yeah. All right, Paul, well, I don't know where we are on time. Well, I'm about know. to tell you. Paul's looking at his watch. we got two minutes. We have two minutes to go. Two Audience, minutes. this has been an unusual program. If you couldn't hear us during our travel of about, uh, must have been at least a half, oh, a better mile, anyway, probably was. And uh, I hope you were able to hear a few things on that. Anyway, we uh, thought we'd try to capitalize on the activity that we have on both ends of our neighborhood here. And uh, we thank you for listening this morning. It's uh, the International Academy of Flint. Uh, loves to do this community outreach stuff, and of course we're deeply engaged in that right now. The girls are back there painting. If you drive South Saginaw, go to maybe a McDonald's, which is just the south of Hemphill. Um, make sure you look on the east side of Saginaw Street. 45 side, seconds. Opposite side of the street as uh, uh, Diplomat Pharmacy and Double I, Double N, and the early fitness center now under a new name. So. Uh, look at that. The street's name is Poe. The girls are there right now. They're 30 seconds. Girl. And we've got about 30 seconds to go, according to Paul. And he's always right. And you know how we, we close out. Come on over. Marquise, come on and close with us. Hurry. If you are listening to us on a blog, if you can do such a thing, walking your dog or sitting somewhere in a fog, find somebody. Look them in the eye. Kurt, get over here with your holes in the knees. And look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some, some kind of school. school. Bye, everybody! Our voice is two five nine nine seven eight Flint's newest radio Our stations, voice. located right here in Flint, Michigan. The Our Good voice. News Radio. If you're interested in getting involved, having your Our own voice. show, or just supporting the station, give us a call at two five nine nine seven eight nine. That's two five nine nine seven eight nine. It's stations. Our Voices, two located five right here in nine, Flint, seven, Michigan. Eight, the Good News Radio. If you're interested in getting involved, having your own show, or just supporting the station, give us a call at 